story to tell. The JF-17 is advertised as a light fighter, low cost, martyron, working in all weather conditions, according to Chinese military experts. However, the JF-17 appears to be becoming a burden on Pakistan. In 1999, Pakistan and China signed a cooperation agreement for the development and production of low-cost fighter JF-17. The two sides also decided to share development costs before completely handing over the product to Pakistan. Pakistan has high expectations for the JF-17 fighter. With the claim of RT-93 after burning turbofan engine, the JF-17 will be on par with the Russian Su-30MKI, MiG-29, and the French Mirage 2000. According to Pakistani media, the JF-17 does not meet most of the requirements in performance evaluation and in actual mission. For example, on February 27, 2019, during the Pakistan Air Force campaign to retaliate against India after it attacked Pakistani gunmen, the JF-17 was believed to be less efficient than the Indian Mirage 2000 and Su-30 fighters. The JF-17's Link-17 data link system has been rated as unreliable. It did not provide sufficient data to the command center and could not be compatible with the Link-16 of the US F-16 fighter. They cannot coordinate the implementation of the campaign. The JF-17 does not even have an effective air-to-air missile. The JF-17 is held as a Pakistan Air Force best fighter second only to the F-16, but its poor attack accuracy and limited weapon capabilities have been proven in the field. During the campaign on February 27, 2019, all Mark 83 general purpose bombs fitted with the range extension kits were unable to hit their targets while facing with the Indian fighters' effective race and shamming. An important part of the Avionix on the JF-17 is the KLJ-7 radar system and the weapon control system that both have problems, reducing the accuracy of air-to-air missiles. One of the main reasons for the poor performance of the JF-17 is attributed to the use of the RT-93 engine, which is considered an outdated Russian engine. Some of the other weaknesses of the JF-17 include the aircraft's nose landing gear was shaken and unstable. In addition, cracks in the planes barely have been discovered, suggesting poor manufacturing or design. Not only the fuselage, but the electronic system on the glass cockpit was also malfunctioning. This is a bug that makes it difficult for the pilot to escape in an emergency. Although it is very cheap, 
only one third of the price of the F-16 fighter, with the same features. But currently, the JF-17 has not many customers to notice. My video about Pakistan JF-17 fighter ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.